Our tongues, we know, vital to eating, tasting, talking. But imagine if you were told by doctors they'd have to remove the majority of your tongue in order for you to survive. That's what happened to a woman in San Diego. This is a rare case that made headlines because doctors were able to reconstruct her tongue and restore some of its function using muscle tissue from her thigh. And, and the story gets back to paying attention to your body because back in 2017, bit through her tongue. Now, we usually let tongues just heal themselves because it's a very fast healing part of the body. But for her, it wouldn't heal. And she went back and turns out that she actually had stage four tongue cancer. And that's what required the removal of so much of her tongue. But to, to talk about a well, flap yeah. like so that, or using a piece of so tissue. So many different takeaways here. Number one, head and neck cancer, unfortunately, is on the rise. And in the past, we thought of smokers, drinkers, uh, elderly gentlemen, that poor hygiene, all of those things. Well, the playing field has changed. We're, we're seeing a, uh, an increase in head and neck cancer in younger people and women. Point number two, you know, this thing was, was sitting there for a while, was ignored, was poo-pooed as, as something else going on inside her mouth, and it turned out to be stage four cancer. So the other takeaway is if you have something going on, you feel an irritation, you have pain. A non-healing yeah. wound in this non case. Non-healing yeah. wound, uh, maybe associated with, with lymph nodes in your neck, don't it. put it off. If you've had it more than two weeks, then that's something that really needs to be addressed and worked up. And then now, to your point, you mentioned the, the muscles of the tongue. Pound per pound, the strongest muscles in our body. And you, you think about it, we use it for chewing and talking and sticking our tongue out, all those things. So important to normal function. In the past, we would do these big resections, remove all or part of the tongue. How, how did we reconstruct it using local tissue, local flaps? Now, with the advent of what we call uh, microvascular free flaps, and in this case, they took a free flap from the outer thigh, connected it to the blood vessels in and around her oral cavity to give her basically a, a somewhat functioning tongue. Initially, she couldn't speak, she couldn't eat, and she couldn't even walk because they took this tissue from her thigh. But with extensive rehab, she's actually regaining tremendous function. I mean, I think this story is so interesting because these UCSD researchers and surgeons this is innovative, and this is really the future of medicine, is creatively thinking about functional reconstruction. She can taste. Her first meal back, I love this, was a salty fried chicken fast food meal, and she was so happy to eat it, you know, to, to actually have some of those taste receptors. She's starting to learn some words. After three weeks, she was able to walk again. I mean, this is pretty phenomenal progress. Obviously never going to have the function she once had, but no. yeah, this and is a so fascinating prevention and early treatment surgery. obviously are the takeaways, but the advances in head neck reconstruction are huge. And when you go see your dentist, ask your dentist to, to do a thorough oral exam, just looking for any unique lesions, mentioning areas that continue to bleed. That's, that's one of the things we often think of. We go to one type of doctor and you say, oh, I go to the dentist for teeth cleaning. No, you, you go for a thorough exam of and your oral cavity. They do a cavity. bi-manual exactly. exam, they put That's the gloves exactly right. on, they palpate the floor of your mouth, they palpate mm -hmm. your neck, all so important.